Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna talk all about plant swaps. Yes, plant swaps. Male plant swaps, like mailing them through the mail system. Not in-person plant swaps, but plant mail plant swaps. Okay, I think I've made my point as to what kind of plant swaps we're talking about. A couple of things when you're doing a plant swap. Now, I have met a few people online who I have talked to for quite a few months, who I feel are decent human beings, who I have given my phone number and address to. Um, I don't necessarily think I would recommend that just because we live in a scary world. <laughs> I don't know, I mean, they seem like good people, right? No, they are, I'm just kidding. All you guys watching, you're good people. I don't know if I would necessarily recommend that to someone who you may have just met online, who you're just planning on doing a quick plant swap with. You may wanna get a P.O. box. That's always probably the safest way to go. You can get one through your post office. Um, phone numbers, I mean, it's a phone number. I don't really know how much information you can get from someone off of a phone number, unless you're like an extreme creeper and weirdo I don't know I'm very trusting it might be one of my um good and bad traits I've just I don't know I've just appreciated um their kind comments on YouTube and their following and like I said we've been talking for a few months so I kind of trusted the fact to give up my address but I wouldn't recommend it. Get a P.O. box. I do plan on doing more plant swaps in the future. I am on a no plant swap streak right now because I'm focusing on what I have already and really kind of also focusing and putting some thought into the process of repotting all of my plants that I have in my backyard and bringing them in for the winter months. So that's gonna be happening over the next couple of months as we get into the fall season here in Chicago. So once I do that and I kind of assess what I have and what I'm working with, then I will do some more plant swaps in the future. So if you're interested, obviously reach out to me as you guys have done before. And if you already reached out to me, I have you written down, I'm gonna get back to you. We'll do a plant swap in the future, I promise. I wanna talk a little bit about what I've done in plant swaps and like how I've packaged my plants and like what I've sent. So I've gotten such sweet packages from people with cute notes and even non-plant related items like coffee mugs and jewelry, it, just like some really sweet things. So one thing I would always recommend in doing a plant swap is always include a little something extra because it's so fun getting a plant gift that you're getting. Like you guys talk about it online or you talk about it via text or over the phone and you obviously tell each other what you're looking for and you maybe see a, a few plants that this other person has that you might be interested in. So you guys already know kind of what you're sending each other based on those conversations, but then throwing in something small like a handwritten card is always so sweet to do. Um, there's been like once or twice where I totally forgot to do it. And like that's like in my first initial plant swaps, I really wasn't thinking about that. But as I did more plant swaps, I've realized, yeah, like that's a sweet little gesture and I'm a rookie and I'm gonna start doing that. It doesn't have to cost any money. It could be something that you have at home, something that means something to you, or like I said, as simple as a note, that's always fun. Next thing with packaging plants. Um, I would always suggest to package plants so that you can try to contain soil from getting all over the box. If you're sending a plant in a, it's like a terracotta pot or in a pot that's already potted up, you wanna put some paper towel over the top of the soil, tape it down with some masking tape, and then package the plant. Obviously, you also wanna to try to do something to keep the leaves safe, the foliage safe. Um, sometimes I like to put paper towel over it or even like some soft tissues. Um, I like to reuse stuff that I get when I order things from like Amazon so that I'm not throwing it away, I'm reusing it. It's better for the ecosystem, you know what I'm saying? That's kind of some of the things I like to do when I'm packaging my plants. Now, if you're not sending a plant that is rooted in soil in a pot and you're sending it bare root, 
then what I suggest to do is clean off most of the soil from the roots and either wrap it up in some damp sphagnum moss. Sphagnum moss, I never know how to say that stupid word. And then wrap that with a possible moist paper towel, or you can just wrap it with a moist paper towel if you don't have any sphagnum moss. And then I like to put it in a Ziploc bag. I know, plastic, yuck, but I have them, so I use them. I zip it, but not all the way shut because you don't want to, one, suffocate the plant, and two, create so much moisture for it that it could possibly develop rot um, while it's traveling to its new home. Uh, if it's a plant that loves humidity, you might be able to get away with that, but I just like to leave the bag cracked open just a little bit for some extra airflow, even though it's packaged in a box pretty well and it's going to be there for a couple of days. Now, while we're on that subject, a couple of days. Guys, when you're sending plant mail, I would always suggest to pay a little bit extra and send it to where it's like a two day, three day max shipping. I wouldn't necessarily say to overnight it cause that could get quite expensive based on how heavy your package is. Two to three days, I would say max. You don't want them sitting in the mail for five plus days. It's just not a good scenario. So that's really it. Next thing I wanted to talk about is a few of the things that I got from some people that I've done plant swaps with. And I have my list here, so I wouldn't forget anybody. Hold on. I'm gonna start by saying that I got um, quite a bit of plants and things from doing plant swaps. So I'm not gonna talk about every single one I got from each of these people. I'm just gonna pick a few and talk about them just to kind of show you. So first up, Norma. Hey Norma, I'm gonna link her name right in the bottom of the screen here on Instagram. Make sure you go follow her. She sent me some of the cutest, one of the cutest packages ever. She sent me this adorable handwritten note um, just kind of thanking me for plant swapping with her, explaining a little bit about the culture that she's in and like what she sent. Um, she also sent me these earrings, which are adorable and a super cute watermelon peperomia cutting, which I don't have a watermelon peperomia cutting. So I'm excited about this and I have it in some water. I have this Cebu Blue, Cebu Blue, Cebu Blue cutting as well. Thank you, Norma. All right, next up is Tammy. Tammy on Instagram, I'm gonna link her name below. Make sure you go follow, follow Tammy. She's been an avid uh, YouTube subscriber of mine for quite some time and I love all of her comments. She sent me a teddy bear vine, super cute teddy bear vine. It's like the softest thing. Even my daughter, when she opened it up, she was like, oh my gosh, this is like velvet. She also sent me some trailing sedum with some hen and chicks, potted up in terracotta already. How cute, I have it placed on um, one of my logs and it's like trailing down the log and it's so pretty. She also makes fairy garden furniture. So she did a little mini swap with my daughter Mia, who I'm not sure if you guys know, if you're new here, my daughter makes macrame. She has her own Etsy shop, she's 11, and she makes plant hangers. So Tammy was like, hey Mia, do you wanna do a little plant swap? She went through me, of course, because Mia doesn't have social media. And uh, Mia said, sure. So Mia sent her over a little plant hanger, and Tammy sent her this adorable little fairy garden chair that she handmade. Guys, you gotta go check it out. If you're looking for fairy garden furniture, you know, reach out to her and, and she could tell you how to get some. Maybe she can make you some and sell you some. Next up is Alicia. And Alicia has a YouTube page and her name on YouTube is simply Alicia A. Did I say that right? Yes, I did. I will link her Instagram below on the screen and I'll also link her YouTube channel in the description box below so you guys can go follow her. She's got the cutest channel. I love her videos. And she sent me two of the coolest cactus. I told her, I was like, I'm, I'm, I'm a cactus girl. I'm looking for some cacti. And she sent me so many pictures of cactus she had and I didn't like, I wanted to tell her I wanted all of it. <laughs> but one, I didn't want to be greedy. And two, I was like, well, I know she can't really propagate some of those. Like she'd have to send me the whole plant. So let me pace myself. And I asked her for a, uh, a puncia, variegated apuncia. And I'm not exactly sure what kind this is specifically, but oh my gosh, it's the cutest little pad. And I had one of these, just a green one, not a variegated one. 
And I'm sure if you guys are following me on Instagram, you may have seen me post pictures of it. He looked like Mr. Krabs. My sister-in-law nicknamed him Mr. Krabs from SpongeBob. And guys, the one jerk squirrel I have in my yard literally tore it apart. So I was really excited to get this cutting from her because I really want to start another Mr. Krabs. She also sent me this little Cactus Spiky guy, and that's what we call him, Cactus Spiky guy. It might be a Euphorbia, I'm not sure, but it is so cool. The spikes are like rubbery. They're not super pokey, <laughs> sharp is probably a better word. And it's just so cool, I love it. So thank you so much, Alicia. I absolutely loved what you sent me. And then um, one last plant um, lady I wanna talk about is Pam over at Pammy's Planty Things. That's her YouTube page along with her Instagram page. I'll link the name below here so you can go check her out. She, we did two, three plant swaps. Gosh, I can't remember Pam, sorry. But she was my first plant swap and I actually did a video on it. And she's been so sweet. We talk via text probably every week and uh, we exchanged wish lists with each other. We have each other's Venmo account so we can like keep each other in the loop if we see one of our wish plants that one of us wants to get and like I could buy it if I find it at my local shop in Chicago and mail it to her or she, vice versa. She could buy it for me and which is also a really cool thing guys because if you, if I think she's in Minnesota, if you guys are, um, not Minnesota, is it Minneapolis? <laughs> God, I can't remember now. If you guys are on the East Coast and we all know how gorgeous the plants are on the West Coast, if you have a plant friend online and you can exchange that kind of information, you guys can look out for each other's wish list plants, which we all know that, you know, let's be honest, uh, California has some of the best plants ever. And you might not be able to find that in New York City. So, and vice versa, you know, you never know. Or like Arizona, where my mom's at. Like if she sees a cool cactus, I'll be like, mom, pick it up for me, mail it to me. And then, you know, it's almost like buying plants online, only you're buying them from a local nursery. And then someone that you know is shipping it to you. Make sense? Another great thing about plant swaps. She has sent me some of the most awesome cacti I have. Well, euphorbias and cactus. Um, two of these are my absolute favorite, this variegated one and then this other one, and I'm not sure of their exact names, but I was just like blown away when I opened these up. They're so cool. I love them. I have them on my teak bench in my living room. They're the best. Um, and then, my philodendron brazil i have it in my backyard so this is one of the ones i plan on repotting and bringing in this thing was struggling at first because i feel like philodendrons um maybe pothos like they're more of the leafier plants they're not as hardy so i feel like they don't take to mail as well as we would like them to um, so they experienced a little bit of plant mail shock or shipping shock, I like to call it, but they came back so nicely and there is one gigantic leaf on here and it's just growing and growing. So I'm really excited to get this repotted and brought in the house for the fall so it can sit in my window and I can just stare at it every day. She's also sent me plenty of other plants too, as long, just like the rest of these people have too. So I've gotten quite a few things from all of them, but these are just a few that stand out to me that I wanted to talk about a little bit. Last little swap I wanna talk about, who is super awesome, who has an awesome plant page. I'm gonna link her name, her Instagram name at the bottom of the screen. We didn't really do a plant swap. She actually just sent me a, a gift in the mail and it was so sweet. She's like, it's nothing big, it's it's super small. Actually, I'm looking at one of the things she sent me here, hold on. Hmm? How cute is that? It's a little salt and pepper shaker part of my set. Um, I have it up here as decoration in my shelf, on my shelf in my office. Um, but anyway, so she sent me a bunch of cute little things. One is a white ceramic Texas planter. Another thing she sent is a cute little plant holder. Um, what else did she send me? Oh my gosh, the salt and pepper shaker set. She sent me this little pillow. This is Crazy Plant Lady. I think it says Crazy Plant Lady. I have it hanging up in my other room. Um, 
And what was the other thing? Oh my gosh. Oh, the mug. And it says, you grow girl. So cute. Like some of the stuff that she sent was so cute. She sent a really sweet message in it. Oh, there's the other part of the salt and pepper shaker. Hold on. <laughs> so cute. Oh my gosh. So anyway, um, that was just so unexpected. And she went through drama trying to send me this package, which she wrote about in a cute little personal note. And it took her like weeks to send it to me. And there, it just like reiterated the fact to me that there are such sweet people out there that just watch this YouTube channel, like the information I put out, and want to actually do plant swaps with me, not only just for the plants, but to develop an online kind of friendship, you know? And it's, it's really cool. It's a cool thing. So I feel like I don't quite want to give up on social media when I meet people like the ladies I mentioned in this video and uh, and some other people I've met along the way too. So I look forward to possibly meeting all of you in real life. You know, meet at your local plant shop, meet up for coffee, obviously meet in public because again, people can be crazy. It's a really fun thing to do to use social media to meet people uh, in real life and develop and to develop friendships and talk about plants all day because I mean that's the fun part about it right all right guys that's it I hope you enjoyed this little plant swap video I hope I taught you a little bit about what to do when doing plant swaps and how to send them and yada 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 if you guys have any questions leave them in the comment section below and if you like this video can you see my thumb thumbs up okay up if you're new here, I do a lot of planty videos on this channel, guys. So make sure to subscribe, hit that little bell so you get notified when I post a new video. Because if you don't hit the bell, then you're not gonna get notified. And then my video is just gonna go unwatched and then we're all gonna cry. <laughs> all right, guys, I'll see you in my next one. Bye.